Welcome to the Best Damn Podcast, and here's today's Daily Read for Thursday, October the 26th, 2023. Check out our weekly tarot raffle, $3 donations for a free mini read, $5 for a 30-minute free personal reading, new winners announced every Friday. And if you would like to book your own personal tarot reading or donate and support to the channel, the info is in the description box down below and pinned at the top of the comment section and make sure to check out our live podcast. We start off first with the overall energy of the Ten of Pentacles. I feel like right now, guys, you are incredibly focused on your money, you know, incredibly focused on your money, but uh, you're also trying to bring things to fruition in your life uh, that you have desired and dreamed of for a very long time, you know. The person that you're dealing with, I feel like they do see a future with you. You know, they do see this kind of ten of pentacles, this ultimate fulfillment, you know, um, a beautiful couple with success and happiness and the dog and the family and all that. Or you see them like this. But I do feel there's a challenge here with the scorpionic energy of death in this major arcana that says, you know, maybe there is something that's in the way or something that was in the way of this dream kind of manifesting or coming to fruition. Now, the death card means the end of something, the end of a cycle. It could be an end of a relationship, somebody that you did see this Ten of Pentacles with, somebody you've seen, you know, the stability, this future, you know, the whole package with. You know, but it's come to an end or is coming to an end. In the recent past, we have the two of wands. Now, two represents choices. You know, and wands represents action. You know, it's you know, making a choice on what action to take. You know, if you go to your left, you uh, stick to what you know. You know, that's what's known with the world in your hand here. You know, the world that you already know. Uh, the people that you already know. The relationship that you already know. You know, it's an energy of, you know, staying put, staying complacent, staying the same. But going to the right here is walking into the unknown, taking an action, you know, to walk into the unknown and take that leap of faith and go towards, you know, ultimate fulfillment. Because that's what you're focused on. That Ten of Pentacles, that is most definitely your focus. It's like manifesting it all and bringing it into the real world. Pentacles are what we touch, taste, smell, right? The moon card on the bottom of the deck shows that somebody is holding back. Somebody could even be being deceptive. And a lot of times this has to deal with our emotions with the moon. You know, someone could not be telling you uh, how they feel about something or you're not sharing, you know, how you feel about something. Perhaps it's, you know, feeling like you need to put an end to something or feeling like, um, you know, someone is not being honest or open or genuine with you. Or someone could be holding back emotionally on, you know, something that they feel would hurt you or something that they feel would disappoint you. So they feel they need to be deceptive. In the immediate future, we have the tower card. So it's like it's coming out one way or another. You know, you or this person seeing one another as its ultimate fulfillment. You know, knowing that there's a choice that needs to be made, but holding back. Because they see that all of this is coming to an end in this death cycle. You know, things are coming to a close, but the tower is here to, to shatter the illusions, right? To allow everything to fall, all the illusions to fall. That way you can see the truth. You can have clarity or your person can have clarity and you can make a clear, concise decision. You know, you won't be stuck in your head on what action to take after the tower comes. You know, you'll know exactly what it is. And with the Page of Wands on the bottom of the deck, you know, this Page of Wands is a very immature, cocky, arrogant, back and forth uh, energy. You know, it's someone incredibly sure of themselves or incredibly arrogant, but with no real reason to be, <laughs> you know. And you can receive a message. This is what you don't see. A message could come in from somebody like this. You know, letting you know of some type of action that's happened with the wands here. It could have to do with sex, too. Somebody saying, hey, I slept with your girlfriend or your boyfriend. Or, you know, or you finding out through the grapevine some way, shape, or form. Like, what they were hiding was the fact that they were connected to someone else. Or messing with someone else. And then this tower kind of falls, forcing you 
to let go and walk away from this situation, you know, and weigh up your options because you're truly wanting this Ten of Pentacles. So you might have to make a decision to go in a different direction. And with your focus on the Three of Swords, this is heartbreak. This is a third-party energy. You know, this could be somebody that you were dealing with in the past or someone that you're dealing with now, you know, or will be dealing with. It's like the heartbreak, the Three of Swords. is not always a third person, you know. Sometimes it can be their work or their friends or, you know, just a family, you know, allowing people to interfere in the connection. An outside party that's interfering in your connection and bringing about some sort of heartbreak. But in this case, I do feel like it's somebody that's a cheater, <laughs> you know, with the tower and the page of wands and the moon here. You know, it feels like somebody that's, you know, they've been unfaithful. They've been dealing with someone else and they've been very deceptive about it. They've tried to hide this from you. They don't want you to find out because they see this Ten of Pentacles with you. And they know that when you do, you're probably going to make a choice to walk away. You know, you know this tower is going to fall and you're no longer going to see them the same or think of them the same. Right. Because the illusion, they, they were wearing a false mask. You know, they should have just been themselves. And with the King of Swords, they want to speak their truth. They do. They want to speak their truth, but it's like also they're afraid that you're going to come at them in this energy and be real cutting and, you know, mean and maybe, um, you know, tear them down. It's like this truth that needs to be spoken. They're wanting the truth to be spoken. You're wanting the truth to be spoken. But ultimately, they know judgment is coming, you know. You're going to have to make a judgment call when it comes to this connection and this relationship. And it's like, either to walk away from this or to forgive and to move forward, you know, to uh, speak your truth and how you feel about this. But it's like, you're going to make a judgment call. And I feel like this is ultimately going to be for your betterment. You know, you're going to decide to put down the burden. It's like, if they can't be honest and can't keep it real with you, then you're no longer carrying this burden. You're no longer carrying the stress, you know, of somebody in a three of swords energy. It's like, allow the tower to fall. No more deception, you know, emotional deception with the moon. If they want to play around and they want to, you know, explore and be wishy-washy with their sexual energy and connect to all these randos and let them do it or connect to the people in the past and let them do it. But you're deciding to put the burden down, you know. You're putting the burden down or your person is and that's going to be the judgment call you make, you know, is to finally release what you've been carrying, and the outcome is the fool. It's taking a leap of faith, a blind leap of faith. It's like, you don't know. Maybe this is a good situation. Maybe this is financially beneficial to you or brings stability in your life in some way. You know, we do see the Ten of Pentacles. So, you know, they could be wealthy. You know, we see the, the house, the kids, the, the dog. It's like, this could be something you truly dreamed of, but it's fake. It's an illusion. That's why the tower's here, you know? They're out, they're out here doing shit with other people they shouldn't be. And they're being deceptive about it and holding back and it's breaking your fucking heart, you know? And you're in your head deciding which way you gotta go, what choice you gotta make, but you just want the illusions to fall and your challenge is to release this, overcome this, speak your truth, make your choice, put down your burden and take a leap of faith. Because that's what's gonna bring you happiness and love. And you will find love as soon as you take the leap of faith. The reputable. I live my life as if my guardian angels are watching over me. It's like, you know, you hold yourself to a, a high standard and you're being divinely protected. And that's why everything's coming out and you're being shown. The dreamscape. We see the fish. You guys could be dealing with the Pisces. Um, also, this is like telling you like, you know, this has a deep emotional value, you know, deep emotional value, deeply emotionally connected. You could be dreaming a lot as well with the waters here. Let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally and worth waiting for. You know, divine timing is at work in your life. It's like, let go of the control issues. Allow this to happen how it's going to because true love is worth waiting for. So take the leap of faith on yourself, you know, and for real love. I hope this helps you guys. If you want to know what's going on, who this is, book a personal reading. Text 513-393-2396 or email therealbestdampodcast at gmail.com. Donate, support, PayPal, Venmo, Cash App, Facebook Messenger Pay. Watch the live podcast. We just did a new one last night. And get exclusive and uncensored content over on Patreon. And then uh, Tarot Raffle, $3, $5. Chance to win a free reading. New winners announced every Friday. Check us out. TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. 
all the platforms, Rumble, BitChute. I love you guys, and I will see you next time. You'll have an awesome, awesome day. Peace.